Who turns off the lights? <laughs> who, who, who turned off the lights? Dude, seriously. I told you, I told I think everyone has experienced the um, pushing uh, the bicycle uh, up here. As you can see there, it's really very hard. Uh, this happens to all of us, but uh, sometimes we, can, we do not understand why and we just accept it. But there is a reason, a very simple reason. Uh, the reason is when you need the maximum of energy to, to go on, uh, and in fact the energy you produce is zero. And this comes because, imagine this is not the wheel, this is the pedals. When your foot is on the top and you are pushing, the force is passing through the center of the rotation. <coughs> you produce zero torque. No, zero. Progressively, when you go further, it, it increases sinusoidally. It goes to the, to the tangential uh, position, where it's maximum, and then comes back to zero. And then when you want another push, you, have only, you start from the beginning from zero. And in fact, max, the maximum force you have is here and there. You cannot get advantage of this uh, force. So we came out with a solution that will solve this uh, problem. It's very, very uh, simple, but let me explain. First of all, we have to apply the force directly and tangentially all the way, all, uh, always. I mean, all the way, whenever you push, we have to secure that the uh, force is applied in the tension, in the tension position. And you can see it here, by pushing this down, the force is always applied here, uh, in tangential. When, when I push back, it's so always the force is tangential, but you can see the wheel turning always to the same direction. And with the help of my friend, uh, you can see that it's, uh, we have always available our uh, power at the maximum, so nobody can experience this as before, pushing the back instead of pedaling. The same mechanism, as we can see here in some videos, uh, it can apply for many, many other applications. So here we don't have only one baby who is, who is willing to be born. We have a multiple birth. And uh, this one is for generating electricity from the waves, for example. It's very efficient. There you can see producing electricity with zero, uh, with seven centimeters of weight. This is incredible. Even ripples, we can detect ripples. And um, so, with this uh, solution, we solve the problem of uh, the maximum uh, applied force. There are other um, <coughs> benefits from this. Uh, and one of them is that you can apply many inputs in the same shaft, output shaft, and uh, without being synchronized the different <coughs> movement, the output is always the additional force. doesn't matter if one is going up or is going down. This is an, another incredible benefit. And uh, of course, it's independent of the amplitude of the, of the force. That means, um, I don't to do this. If I do a small, very small, like this uh, movement, I capture all the power. If, I, if my legs are very... If,
Actually, stop it. Adios, stop it. So, so this seems like a phenomenal uh, 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 capture of waste and energy. How hard would it be for you to build a bicycle, a single bicycle? Not very hard. That, I mean, that's what I want to see. I want to see yes. a bicycle so my grandmother can understand yes. the difference, right? Somebody get on a regular bicycle, pedal as hard as they can, mm -hmm. measure something, get on your bicycle, pedal as hard as they can, show the difference. Yes. Happy try to understand how it would be easy or difficult for people to switch from pedaling yes. this circular right. way to stepping in the vertical way. Yes, actually this is our um, most important uh, weaknesses, if I can say. We have to solve this problem, so we have to pass through um, ergonomical uh, research and design to see how to switch from this uh, habit to this push pull but um, this is not a problem in my opinion because we can design the bicycle also differently. For example, we, all, we already have recumbent bicycles and this uh, mechanism is excellent for recumbent uh, bicycles. There you don't have to be, in fact, if you do that, it's not so comfortable. Anyway, uh, we need, uh, what I forget to tell you that what we really need is uh, set up of a research, uh, research and development team to push this uh, forward. We need advisors for uh, to build a team that will promote this uh, properly because I am an engineer and I am zero in marketing and sales. Salas, how long have we had this? Okay, how long? This is a very long-lasting pregnancy, I have to say. Almost <laughs> 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 10 years. Yeah. But the baby is kicking and... <laughs> I have a pattern, uh, unfortunately it's exp uh, expired because I didn't have my money to renew it. I spent a lot of money on that. But uh, I have to say this is a new version of the pattern, much improved, and now I have another much more improved method. <laughs> so we can patent again, we can have another application if it is needed. I'm not sure if it is needed. If the pattern expires, can people use the old version? Yes. They are welcome to do this. It's a public information. Yeah, it's a public information in country. Yes. Okay, so my question is, if somebody put a gun to your head, could you have a bicycle put together with duct tape and bailing wire by this time next week? Uh, yes, with a... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so don't forget the word entrepreneur means one who takes action, not one who does research. If you can build a bicycle to demonstrate the energy you're capturing, things will begin to happen. Yes, uh, actually we did some uh, data collection with uh, computer-based system with the sensors that uh, pushing and measuring the, all this. We have a data in uh, the University of uh, Cyprus because the, the application you saw with the web generator was a, a small part of the, this. But we are willing to do much more yeah. because we have to decide. Craig, do you have a question? Okay. I just would like to uh, put my order in now for your first bike. <laughs> Can I call up the 